the number of shots on goal versus the quality of chances that you guys had against you in that first period, especially? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, it's a great question. I mean, they, they were obviously slinging a lot of pucks towards the net. And when they have, when you have that mindset, you're going to give up numbers, you know, but um you know, I, I thought quality-wise, we did a pretty good job of keeping them to the outside. You know, it wasn't, uh, you know, probably the best analogies. We, we bent but didn't break. Uh, you know, we battled hard. I didn't think we had great legs. 3 nothing lead in, in hockey is a really tough lead because the other team, you know, has nothing to lose. And, and they poured it on. Their defensemen were up, up the ice uh you know, the rest of the night and put a lot of pressure on us. So, but, you know, like I said, we bent and didn't break. You have to win all kinds of different ways on a playoff run. And I was proud of our group. One is Hints okay. Two, I mean, he's a top 20 goal scorer over the last two years. I think only Dreisaitl has more than him in these playoffs. What makes him a great goal scorer? Yeah. Well, you know what, Nick? He's, uh, um, I, he is okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not worried about, you know, an injury or anything like that. Um, but he's been just an absolute uh, monster for us this playoff, you know, at the most important times. I mean, this is a obviously a, a critical game uh, for our group, and he comes out in the first 10 minutes and, you know, basically uh, lets everyone in the building know that uh, that he's here to play and, and uh, you know, dragging our group around. So... And he's done that the entire playoff. Um, you know, it's almost been a little bit of a coming out party for him. I think he's been a, a a playoff player before and a good playoff player, but he hasn't been a dominant playoff player. And you know, that's that's what he looks like in this year's playoffs with Heiskanen and you know, obviously Pav too. Pete, curious what you made of Jason's game. He had three assists. He drew that penalty yeah. on the power play. Was it a little bit more kind of getting yeah. close to what you? What yeah, you... better. Way, way, way better. And uh, the 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 penalty uh, that he drew was probably uh, the best moment of the night for me because that's what he's doing when he's playing well. When he's scoring goals, he's attacking those areas of the ice, and he's either scoring or drawing penalties. So, you know, that's a great sign. Um, glad he got some points because, you know, I think it's been coming, but his game's definitely heading the right direction. Uh, is there something to the top line being back together? Pavelski, you know, obviously yeah. contributed, and that line had a huge night. Yeah. Well, your best players have to be your best players if you're going to move through the playoffs. And, um, you know, that line, Otter was great. Um, you know, we're getting we're getting contributions from a lot of people. I mean, you know, we... we uh, uh, it hasn't been easy. We've had guys in and out of the lineup. You know, Marchment missed tonight. Uh, Hawk and Paw comes back in. Uh, Kiviranta goes in. Delandria comes back in after being out sick. So, you know, we're, we're getting guys, multiple contributions from guys stepping in and getting the job done. Uh, first of all, great game, Coach. Thank you. And uh, talk about Robertson with three assists, and he's just pitching yeah. in wherever he can, even not getting one in that. Yeah. Yeah, he's close to scoring. I, I think it's just, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's next game he's getting that close. So his, uh, he's getting his confidence back. He's getting his swagger back. You look around the league, you know, everyone, everyone you know, he's been such a story uh, because he hasn't scored five on five. But what's he got? Was he got 10 points or something like that in 10 games? 11 points in 10 games. So, you know, I think there's a, there's a lot of people that would take that. You know, if that's called a slump, <laughs> sign me up <laughs> for that. Um, so, you know, I think we we just have such high expectations for him. But I I, uh, I like where his game's heading. Pete, we talk a lot about the chemistry of the top line. What have you made of the chemistry of that Ben Johnston Dadnov yeah. line? It seems like ever since you've put them together, at least from a chemistry standpoint, they've been as good as you can hopefully. Yeah, huge goal tonight. And you know, we we were talking before the game. I I, I felt. You know, I think one of the coaches thought Johnny was due for one, and he got one. Um, you know, Dadinoff's, you know, really uh, fit in well with those guys. He plays such a hard, honest game. Um, you know, straight, straight lines and in the battle. And then Jamie Ben, you know, has been been great all year for us. So 
they're a great combination. And, you know, we, we haven't touched them. We, we've left them alone. We've let them kind of work through good nights and bad nights. And uh, they enjoy playing together. But, but they had a big night tonight. They were great. And that was a huge goal for us early. Uh, Coach, uh, a lot of us in the media have made comparisons between this series to the Minnesota series, just the way it's kind of gone, yeah. one oh. 2 one, three, two, things like that. Uh, do you see those comparisons? Are they, are, they, yeah. are they applicable or is that a bit of a reach? Yeah, no, no, I, I think similar for sure. You know, especially obviously the way they started, we, you know, two overtime losses at home here in game one. So then we're chasing the series. You know, we, we had, and we talked about that today, we had an opportunity to, to grab control of the series again in game five, like we did in the Minnesota series, and we did that. And now it's on us to go go there and end this in, uh, on the road, which we did in, Min in the Minnesota series. So hopefully we have the same result.